Saros, sir, are you ready? Saros, sir, are you ready? All the students, they, they should write their program code, name and enrollment number in the chat box because mm -hmm. it is now going on recording. Now we can start the class. Saros, sir, if you are listening to me, now we can start. Yes, yes. Yes, sir, over to you. Hello. I request you to keep the video in off position. Please keep your audio and video in mute position if required. We can have a discussion in the last 20 minutes. At that time, you can uh, switch on your audio. Okay, sir. Over to you, sir. Sure, sir. Good evening to you all. Hello, my dear student. Yes, sir. So today. Today, we will start MPS 3 from unit 7 to 12. The topic assigned to me that uh, structure and uh, growth of economy, poverty, surplus and uh, unevenness. Mind the student, now due to some academic uh, that assignment problem the time has changed from 7 am 7 pm to 9 pm so all are welcome again and uh, join this uh, class now we'll start unit 7 of a democracy and a development democracy and a development so I have prepared with the in the North Cell the topic. The structure and the growth of economy, poverty surplus, and uh, unevenness. Particularly, this unit deals with the structure and the growth of economy in terms of poverty, surplus, and unevenness. There has been uneven growth in the economy across the states in India. The 1990 is marked by the growth in the services and the manufacturing sectors. Decline in the poverty has taken place in terms of percentage, but the majority number of the poor increased. Particularly this unit indicates the need for India for a balance in terms of its development in its economic and the social aspects. My dear students, particularly the structure and the growth of the economy in this topic, I want to say that the what sort of development has taken place in India after 1990 and how the people they fell in the agricultural production and how GDP was less up to uh, 90, after 91, some changes has been taken place due to uh, LPG, liberalization, privatization, and uh, globalization. Anyway, uh, in this unit, I'll say that Indian economy has a marked structural transformation in 1990s then 1980s. The GDP underwent a significant change of the reform process in 1991. In my last class I had told you that during P.V. Narasimhrao period the liberalization was introduced in India then and there the development has uh, enhanced because the majority imputes came from the manufacturing and the service sector, not in the agriculture. The states in India, variation in growth performance, the economy accelerated for particularly the Maharashtra and uh, Gujarat, but, uh, but 
in a decelerated in Bihar, UP and Odisha. So state manankare, kimuli bhavare, the growth ta, GDP growth ta onivindness hala. Seth bhai yashi ete onivindness. Gute Maharashtra among the Gujarat re, sadi GDP develop hala bale, Bihar, UP, Odisha re kimuli bhavare kambila. So 1991 for a corner change, just Say we say it is the structural development on Haiti. Say we say I'm a unit rate. One of the reason was that uh, deceleration in the performance of agriculture during 1990s. That's why it's favorable monsoon. The poor performance of agriculture was also responsible due to decline in public investment and the limited infusion of new technologies due to lack of new technologies the production has uh, that uh, diminished and very low in india that is why the particularly the poor performance of agricultural was also responsible due to decline in public investment and the limited infusion of new technologies which created the mass poverty in India. Here is the point, the why and how mass poverty in India created. So due to the less production in agricultural sector the mass poverty has been increased in India because the 80% of our people they reside in the rural area and also depend upon the agricultural sectors. The objective of India's development strategy is the eradication of mass poverty. So in this unit the we have to assess the what is the development, what is the changes of GDP uh, before 90 and after 91, what sort of changes have taken place. And in this unit, we should know that uh, uh, what is the cause of poverty in India and uh, the what is the objective of Indian development strategy for poverty elevation. That means how the mass poverty can be that eradicated. But while the percentage show a decline in poverty, <laughs> decline in poverty. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> All are requested to mute their video and audio. Dear students, Gauri Shahu, Sumintra Muduli, off your audio and video. Next. Hey, one minute, sir. Gauri Shahu, hmm. off your video. Don't don't click on the present button. That present button is only for the counselor. Hello, Gauri Shahu. If you are listening, off your video, mute your video. Then anyone. Hello. I try to remember this. Otherwise, this will this will create disturbance. Mm. All I requested to mute their audio and video. It's not necessary. Oh. Okay, it okay, is sir. barely it is barely necessary if the student will disturb and uh, they will open their video and audio. So it is uh, it will be difficult on my part hmm. to yes, that. Uh, okay. uh, there is a again I am repeating the same thing, but while the percentage so a decline in poverty. A large number of poor has increased because of the the populate population growth. There is a clear association between that uh, 
there have been both of there have been good and poverty that elevation in india poverty mainly in rural matter is more than 80% of india's poor live in rural areas so for reform to have a substantial impact it has to extend it to rural areas to solve this problem sir slides slides are not visible not visible no no slides are not visible so you can uh, click the present now button again mm. okay okay sir sir yes sir student can zoom it student can easily zoom it no 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 problem no, no. and no, that means slides are not visible it means the you are not in present presentation mode please change your mode so that uh, if, uh, at least the presentation what we are presenting that will be hmm. displayed nothing is displayed so uh, nothing is displayed yeah yeah okay so okay, okay i'm just observing uh, present okay Yes, yes. Now it is, it is now okay. Yeah, yeah, it's okay now. Okay, okay, okay. Please continue. Sir, it is clearly visible or not? Visible or not? Yes, sir, it is visible. Okay, okay. Okay. So far, reform to help. a uh, substantial impact it is to extend it to rural areas uh, to solve this problem income level sir sir again it again it is not visible again it not visible acha no no what happened arpita kabi why are you disturbing विश्वनाथ आप योर वीडियो विश्वनाथ भाई सिद्धार्थ ठीक बोल रहा है जी कौन बोल रहा है विश्वनाथ भाई आप योर वीडियो अर्पणा मिश्र वाला आप योर ऑडियो हेलो यस सर हम्म सर यू यू सी सर वेदर इट इज या या इट्स ओके नाउ इट्स ओके ओके ना ओके ना द द ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स दे दे आर दैट ऑब्जर्विंग दिस थिंग Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, sir. What is some matter problem? I think or any technical mistake. Sorry, sir. No, no, no. Okay. It's okay. But students are trying to um, other students. They are trying to press click on the present button. That is why. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that is that is why that uh, disturbing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so far, uh, so far, the reform to have a substantial impact. It is to extend it to rural areas to solve this problem. इनकम लेवल्स एलोन इज नॉट ए राइट मेजर अब पोवर्टी एलिवेशन यदि इनकम टा को बढ़ाई दिया जाए ताहले ये पोवर्टी रो के पोवर्टी प्रॉब्लम के लिए नहीं बिकॉज़ इट हैल टू कैप्चर अदर टाइप ये पोवर्टी डजंट मीन दैट ओनली द फाइनेंशियल गेन और समबडी ओनली दैट टू प्रॉपर्टी योर हर लाइवलीहुड But there are so many dimensions which include the poverty. That means the other that uh, deprivations like child labour, malnutrition, illiteracy, prostitution, caste discrimination uh, against women and girls are not related to income poverty levels in any that uh, predictable manner. जदि खाली इनकम टा को डेवलप करा जीवो, 
ये जो एरिया गुडाक सब रोइला जो पोवर्टी रो से गुडाक केबे सॉल्व होई परबो नाही सो दैट इनकम अलोन कैन नॉट सॉल्व द पोवर्टी द मास पोवर्टी बिकॉज़ द अदर एरियाज दैट आर नॉट डिपेंडेंट ऑन द इनकम अलोन सो द लेवल्स ऑफ इनकम आर नॉट ए राइट रेमेडीज ऑफ पोवर्टी of a human lives uh thus india needs to strike a balance in its development in its economic and social front which the state uh, that uh, planning a more proactive role to elevate poverty from india following steps should be undertaken तेणु पोभर्टी केमी इंडिया रे जे दूर कर आक्शन निर्ट स्टेप कैन बी टेकन थ्रो प्रपर प्लानिंग सो दिज सजेसन कैन बी एनुरेपेड फास्टली इंडिया हेज टू रिकग्नइज ए capitalize on the strong complementarities that exist between economic expansion and the improvement in the quality of a people's lives lok manankaro je gunatmak jivan dharana seta ko prathame dekha jiba avashyak hm no hole e uchi pratham step india naba tarkar secondly india need to ट्राई के बैलेंस बिटवीन इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ एंड एन एक्सपेंशन ऑफ सोशल अपॉर्चुनिटीज केवल खाली इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ हेले हबो नहीं ता संगे रे सामाजिक सुजोग रो संप्रसारण हबा दरकार नहले भारत रे जे भली पोवर्टी तहा केबे संभव नहि सो थर्डली मोर फाइनेंशियल रिसोर्सेस are required if all that children have to attend school village must has access to primary health care center safe water assured of a safe motherhood etc ye sab digo ko jodi ame dekhanti tano third aspect hela je ya pai arthnaitik resource hm sambal darkar kahi ki ना से पोभर्टी एलिभेसन हो पार जदि चिलड्रेन हाव टू एटेन अल दि दैट चिलड्रेन जो समस्त जो पे स्कूल को पठे पार एवं प्राइमरी हेल्थ केयर समस्त को जगे दे जा पार आम जी स्वच्छ जल एवं जी सुरक्षित मातृत्व को आम जब प्रोभाइड कर रियली एलिफेट हो पार चिंता कर रेदर देन इट हेज इन दस्ट जी पास्ट जो स्लो प्रोग्रेस दैट नाइन फोर्टी सेवेन टू नाइन सिक्स द स्लो प्रोग्रेस द प्लानिंग वाज Uh, not so proactive so that is why the mass poverty has been created so in this step state needs to play an active role rather than it is in the past fifthly opportunities must be created and expanded for women to participate more fully in economic and political decision making it is also another that the state that the government should take step women should be given chance in the decision making and the economic field so the poverty or development in economic and also democracy can be developed sangre dui ta kotha hi paribo arthnitik vikas hi paribo ebong ganatantrik जो विकास मध्य हो पार जदि ओमेन मान को दि जाए 
दि राजनीति क्षेत्र में अंश ग्रहण करने सुजोग दि जाए एवं इकोनोमिक क्षेत्र में तुमको चांस दि जाए कौन हम ना पोभर्टी निश्चित भाव दूरी दे पार फिफ्थली इकोनोमिक ग्रोथ हेज टू बी पार्टिसिपेटोरी इट मस्ट बी प्लान एंड मैनेज लोकाली बै पीपुल हुज लाइफ इट एफेक्ट इकोनोमिक ग्रोथ हेज टू बी पार्टिसिपेटोरी एंश ग्रहणात्मक हवा दरकार से कौन दरकार दैट प्लान इन द द प्लानिंग सुड बी सो पर्टिकुला इफेक्टिव मैनेजेबल जोटा कि जो आंचलिक स्तर से यह हो पार जहाद्वारा जो लोक मान जो लाइफ बंच जीवन धारण मान को प्रभावित करेणु दिज आर दम पॉइंट दैट हाउ पोभाटी कैन बी इराडिकेटेड इफ गवर्नमेंट विल टेक स्टेप इन दिस रिगार्ड हेन्स इफ ह्यूम पोभाटी हेज टू बी इराडिकेटेड जदि आम जो मानविक जो रही दारिद्रता को आम संपूर्ण मात्र दूरे देवाई चाहिए को को दिग उपर गुरुत्व दवा कथा कहट एटेनसन मस्ट सिफ्ट फ्रम इनकम पोभाटी टू दोभाटी टू दोभाटी एंड इनइक्वाटी अफ अपरचुनिटीज केवल खाली इनकम आड़ को नुहे इनकम आड़ आम दूरे नवा जो आम दृष्टि संपूर्ण मात्र नुहे इकोनोमिक डेवलपमेंट को गुरुत्व दवा सुजोग दवा एवं अपरचुनिटीज इन द मेटर्स ऑफ इकोनॉमिक, सोशियल एंड पॉलिटिकल शुड बी गिवन दैट अपलिफमेंट शुड बी गिवन चांस सो इन दिस सिचुएशन इंडिया नीड्स दैट सस्टेन्ड पब्लिक एक्शन टू बी गाइडेड बाय स्ट्रांग ह्यूमन डेवलपमेंट प्रायोरिटीज so this is the not sell that idea that the structure and the growth of economy that poverty surplus and unevenness je amaro poverty kai ki srushti hoychi bibhinna rashtra guli ko kiboli bhabare eka sangare semanakar gdp ta saman nu he ebong kon kole ame overall sabu rashtra mane rajya एवं जो सर्वभारतीय स्तर रे जे इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट हो पारे सो हिच कैन बी वी आर एबल टू इराडिकेट सर सर स्लाइड सर अगेन नॉट विजिबल स्लाइड सर देन द द स्टूडेंट्स आर अगेन दे आर क्रिएटिंग द या 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 सम स्टूडेंट्स दे हैव ओपन देयर विजुअल ऑडियो विजुअल आई यू कैन डू इट अगेन दैट विल बी बेटर विजिबल so some students are creating a noise that is why the problem is big so my dear student note that uh, the uh, the exact uh, that uh, meaning of poverty some students they are not aware they what is poverty you see the poverty is not having enough material possessions और इनकम फॉर ए पर्सन नीड्स पोभाटी में इंक्लूड सोशियल इकोनॉमिक एंड पॉलिटिकल एलिमेंट्स बट आबसोल्यूट पोभाटी इज द कंप्लीट लैक ऑफ द मींस नेसेसरी टू मीट बेसिक पर्सनल नीड्स लाइक फूड फूड क्लॉथिंग फूड क्लॉथिंग एंड सेल्टर सर द स्क्रीन इज भिजिबल 
हेलो हेलो माइंड स्टूडेंट आई एम ऑल्सो एक्सप्लेनिंग दट द एक्जैक्ट मीनिंग ऑफ पॉवर्टी सम स्टूडेंट दे आर कनसिप्ट पॉवर्टी जो मानक नाही खाइबा को नाही से से माने हो दरिद्र जे प्रकृत रे ताकु दरिद्रता कहा जाने दरिद्रता खाली इकोनॉमिक सेंस नहि इट आल्सो इंक्लूड सोशल पॉलिटिकल आल्सो सो द मिनिमम बेसिक नीड्स जो मानक पसे नाही मिनिमम बेसिक नीड्स दैट इज फूड क्लोथिंग एंड अ शेल्टर इन अदर वर्ड्स पोवर्टी इज अ कंडीशन इन व्हिच ए पर्सन Our community lacks the financial resources and essentials for a mid minimum standard of living. Minimum standard of living, jahara nothi bo, ba jo community pakhare nothi bo, ame kohi ba je seita hoychi je poverty. But there is a difference between the poverty and also the poverty line. My dear student. and you should understand the difference just i over the poverty but what is the poverty line then poverty line is the level of income to meet the minimum living conditions again i am telling the poverty line is the level of income to meet the minimum living conditions poverty line is the amount of money needed for a person to meet this basic needs it is defined as the money value of the goods and services needed to provide basic welfare to an individual and uh, we see in case of india in india planning commission was the nodal agency for estimation of poverty it is the level of income what the planning commission has assessed that it is the level of income needed to meet the minimum standard of living people who have an income less than this considered below poverty line now those students so they might have uh, understood the what is the difference between poverty and poverty line so in this structure that structure and the growth of economy are that uh, i have uh, just uh, uh, given detail idea that uh, how the poverty created and what is the uh, planning or what is the measures what type of measures can be taken by the government to eradicate the poverty and uh, poverty cannot be solved only through income because there is so many dimensions uh, which cannot be solved through income only hmm. next uh we have to that uh, forward towards the second uh, that uh, 80 unit 8 because time is too my dear student so in the Northel, I want to uh, I want to say that finally that, that uh, if human poverty has been eradicated, 
and what sort of attention can be given that I have, I, I have already that told you that opportunity is economic, social and political and India needs sustained public action to be guided by strong human development priorities. So now we will start the unit 8 that is the legislature that is the legislature. In this unit, in this unit, what we will grasp and what this unit symbolizes? You see, the legislature is the organ of the modern government which formulates laws. The modern nation state seeks political power to govern by the process of legitimacy attributed to it by its citizens. This political power is an essential instrument of state in a democracy for maintaining order and reconciling the conflicts in the civil society. It also concerns itself with the guiding humanity from lower form of civilization to the higher forms. The state embodies the political role of its society and its institution expresses the proper array of principles and the techniques that are used in the efforts to accomplish that a very avowed goal. So, the modern state, you see, it is the, uh, the in the modern state, what uh, that uh, speaks about to the legislature, the legislature is a body that represents the people in two distinct ways. That is, one is that representatives can transmit the fears and the hopes of their constituencies to the other members of the legislature and to the executive. This is the first way. The second is the legislature can represent the cross section of the nation. That means legislature here a mirror image of their multicultural society. Legislature is often used synonymously with the term parliament what India has possessed. This unit of study focuses on legislature by pointing out that the legislature is a part of the state and the people's representative body is a quite essential feature of a democracy. Without a legislature, no state can be developed because it is the institution which takes the uh, all-round development decisions, security, etc. The legislature contributes to achieving the goals inside in the constitution of the country. Mm. So, it is an embodiment of a participative democracy. My, my dear student, uh, you might have uh, that, uh, known, this is the particular assembly in which, in which people, representatives, they take part to put their grievances of their localities. How the legislature will acknowledge the problems of uh, different areas and uh, localities? Hmm. So, the people's representative, they get a chance to speak and to ventilate to the house regarding different type of uh, problems. And accordingly, the particular proposal 
was discussed through deliberative discussions and arguments decisions are taken thereafter so that is why it is an embodiment of a participatory democracy which consists of so far as the structure is concerned i want to say the structure is concerned this is consist of president lok sabha and the rajya sabha the without to the president the legislators cannot be treated as the law making body because after thorough deliberation discussions arguments and voting the final assent will be given by the head of the state otherwise it will not treat as an act as the indian structure of a legislature like this that the president lok sabha and rajya sabha the president lok sabha rajya sabha and various committees and oppositions are an integral part of the legislature my dear student you see the president is in the apex and uh, the two sides lok sabha and uh, rajya sabha but besides there are uh, so many committees that uh, scrutiny committee report committee public accounts committee estimate committee so these are included in the process of uh, law making because it is the part and the parcel of a legislature so after thorough observation or uh, by that uh, proceeding through the, uh, that uh, uh, process the law is made in the parliament similarly the opposition is needed for the democracy without opposition so we will see it is a monopoly without opposition the majority party who have occupied the uh, government they can take decision uh, that uh, outrightly and uh, the student they might have realized in uh, odisha that uh, case odisha legislative assembly Uh, that uh, bjd the local uh, that the party they have a secured absolute majority so they are not uh, caring to the opposition so the opposition is a part and parcel of uh, the legislature so they perform three important uh, functions that is propose oppose and depose the actual opposition party will give the constructive proposal to the government in power for the nation building so that opposition is right opposition for democracy on the other hand that uh, exports is another function of opposition which is necessary and important for a legislature because legislature is a particular field in which government can be that uh, exposed their faulty decisions there's be different type of scam so that can be that uh, brought to the knowledge of all the people and also members people and as well as the members in the floor of the house and uh, so many scam sir उंसिलर चंदन कुमार इज प्रेजेंटिंग वही चंदन कुमार चंदन कुमार स्टॉप प्रेजेंटिंग सर 
फोन कर जो सर जो आप पढ़े से जो की नोट सर दरकार पीडीएफ फाइल सर प्लीज मुझे पीडीएफ फाइल सार मुझे दे दे तो आज क्लास पर से देवे व्यस्त मैंने सार को व्हाट्सअप को पठी मेल भी पठी से सर से डाउनलोड करिया पे से लिंक दम ऑलरेडी आई हैव शेयर द लिंक दे कैन डाउनलोड द द मटेरियल फ्रॉम द लिंक असे जाने नहीं थी बोले से एजेंट से माने जाने दवा उचित जे ये पीडीएफ फाइल दे जाउची जो टा मु नोटसल ले लिखी छी डाउनलोड otherwise if the student will disturb then the, the all the units uh cannot be covered uh that cannot be, cannot be covered. Man, covered so again get to maintain silence don't try to create any create any disturbance keep hmm. your audio and video in off mode okay so that there will be no disturbance i will be sharing again. all the slides don't worry if it is not visible uh, try to understand the things and the, all the slides that will be shared to you all in the next class i will be sharing the link okay okay sir now you can go okay, okay so just i was telling about the opposition the three function of opposition which is related to legislature that the proposes opposes opposes so that is in the different type of uh, that uh, uh, proposals if the proposals will not solve the entire population the the uh, suppose it will affect a particular community so the opposition can oppose it and uh, and uh, sometimes the taking into the party politics some political party they are also opposing and you might have known in the corona corona the uh, covid 19 case the how the congress is the, that uh, defaming to the uh, bjd government in the odisha uh, because that is not the Uh, actual role of the opposition actual role of the opposition so it is the second thing third one is the uh, deposition so the, it is the another role of uh, the opposition the opposition can depose the present government support that uh, they will draw the attention of a different type of faulty different type of scams before the people and similarly the uh, opposition party they will just uh, uh, collect their strength to challenge the present government in parliamentary democracy so legislature follows the majority that uh, vote when the opposition will occupy the majority so they will invite no confidence motion so they will appeal for no confidence in the no confidence motion a vote will be taken if the party in power will that uh, uh, prove its majority then it will dissolve so the opposition party can capture the power that means the party in power will depose by the opposition party tanu virodh dal ko dara jetale anastha prastav asibo ebong anastha prastav jetale 
डिस्कसन हम जे बिल रे एगनेस्ट आर्गुमेंट हम तापर हो फाइनली यदि विरोध दल सपक्ष गला सरकारी दल से भांगे एवं विरोध दल समर्थन रे जो दल आसो सी सरकार गठ तेणुक मुख्य कम कै जो कि अपोजिशन पार्टी इज अल्सो इंटेग्राल पार्ट अफ द लेजिस्लेचर द स्टेट लेजिस्लेचर ऑन द अदर हैंड आर इम्पोर्टाट एट द स्टेट लेवल जमी अच्छी फिक्स पार्टिकुलाली सेम स्ट्रक्चर इन द स्टेट लेवल दि गवर्नर दि लेजिस्लेट एसेम्बली एंड द स्टेट हर बैकेमेराल लेजिस्लेचर दैट मीन द लेजिस्लेट काउनसिल दट इज इट इज कनसीस्ट अफ गवर्नर स्टेट लेजिस्लेटिव एसेम्बली एंड रिगार्डिंग दर्लियामेटरी सभरेन्टी Uh, which has been included in this uh, legislature so parliamentary sovereignty is a that uh, particular concept which is uh, derived by the indian that uh, constitutional makers from the british colonialism or uh, uk the long association with the britishers and the uh, governmental pattern it was deemed fit to the people of india to invite parliamentary in that uh, sovereignty that means parliament is supreme parliament can that uh, change everything through majority of uh, votes so in this regard i will say that uh, some students they may put question sir uh, uh, supreme court is the apex any law made by the union parliament or the state legislature if it is contravenes or violate the provision of the constitution of india the supreme court has been empowered to uh, that uh, make it null and void but in spite of all this parliament can amend can also that uh, lessen the power of judiciary in this regard and the kesavanand bharat case goloknath case that the that rules and the concept of sovereignty who is the that uh, content the descriptive as well as the pop perspective element in self फाइनल डिशन नो बडी कैन चैलेंज ओनली स्टेट हेज दवर पावर that means externally internal is supreme over all the institutions parliament is sovereignty here the parliament is the body which represents the people's representative he can take any that uh, uh, changes you can take any decision that decision is final and it will abide by all including also judiciary the persons or body exercising such decision must be legally competent to decide and uh, practically able to enforce the decision 
इन इंडिया गवर्नमेंट है ऑफन को ऑफन कम टू कंफ्लिक्ट विथ जुडिशरी ओवर द एक्सटेंट टू हुई पार्लियामेंट मे एमेंड द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अनेक केस अतीत जे जुडिशरी गोटे डिशन नहीं बेले जिते बे जुडिशरी डिशन पॉलिटिक्स को जो आफेक्ट कर तेणु पार्लियामेटेरिया सो दे विल दट गिव द प्रपोजाल टू एमेंड दिस पार्टिकुला लज ताको किमी हमें परिवर्तन हूँ कर सो मेनी एग्जामपल्स आर दे आर एम ए फलो एन योर दट बुक दट पार्लियामेटरी दट पार्टिकुलाली केशवा नंद भारती केस इन नाइनटीन हंड्रेड सेवेन्टी थ्री इन द स्टूडेंट्स टो टू हेब द स्टडी मेटेयर अल बुक्स इट हेज बीन दैट नोटेड इन द पेज नंबर वन जीरो वन यू मे फलो दैट इन एप्रिल नाइनटीन हंड्रेड सेवेन्टी थ्री इन द केशवानंद भारती केस द सुप्रीम कोर्ट रूल्ड दैट फाइल पार्लियामेंट कुड एमेंड इव इन द फंडामेटाल रईट गारंटेड बै द कन्स्टिट्यूशन पार्लियामेंट व्वाज नट कम्पिटेट टू अल्टर दि बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर अफ द फ्रेमवर्क अफ द कन्स्टिट्यूशन हाउ एवर इन द फोर्टी सेकेंड एमेंडमेंट इन द इयर नाइनटीन हंड्रेड सेवेन्टी सिक्स अनआबियसलीडली डिक्लार द पार्लियामेंट टू बी कम्पिटेट टू एमेंड अल प्रोजन अफ दि कन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड द कोर्ट टू बी इनकम्पिटेट टू क्वेश्चन पार्लियामेटरी इनाटमेंट सो माइ डे स्टूडेंट यू माइट हेव फलोड इन दिस रिगार्ड दट हाउ इन इंडिया द पार्लियामेटरी सवरेन्टी हेज बीन इम्पोर्टाट इन आवर स्टेट सिस्टम इन इंडिया गवर्नमेंट हेव ऑफन कम इन टू कन्फ्लिक्ट एंड इट एनस्योर्स द पार्लियामेटरी सवरेन्टी दीज आर द सम दट पॉइंट्स द एग्जाम्पल्स हाउ दि पार्लियामेटर सवरेन्टी इन द वे अफ कन्फ्लिक्ट बिटवीन द जुडिशरी एंड दि पार्लियामेंट एंड फाइनाली इट हेज बीन दट नोटेड दट पार्लियामेंट हेज द पावर पार्लियामेंट इज द कम्पिटेट and uh, the uh, judiciary cannot question on the parliamentary enactment that is why it is parliamentary sovereignty uh, so finally in this unity we will that uh, uh, take a overall views uh, that uh, an overview of the functioning of the parliament in its and sir hello dekha ho jana nahi hello an overview of the functioning of the parliament in its that uh, sequence is necessary to understood the institutions and uh, procedures thus legislature contributes to achieving the goals hello enumerated in the preamble of the constitution the overall includes from 1950 the first lok sabha election to the uh, that uh, 15th lok sabha election 2019 hmm then first lok sabha election 1950 ru ebam last lok sabha election amar jo 2000 2019 re 15th jo hoi chi hmm so through it can be grasped next uh, unit 9 now we will start unit 9 that uh, uh, those who are visible uh, hello hmm again unit 9 that is bureaucracy police and army bureaucracy police and army Minded student, you see, sir, not visible. 
not visible okay that the you are not you are disturbing what can i do then again uh, again i am also presenting okay hello ha ah. ओके 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 सर सर गुटे क्वेश्चन थिला जे रिसेंटली जो पार्लियामेंट आमर जो पास करथिला जे सुप्रीम कोर्ट रो जो जजेस हेबे से माने अकॉर्डिंग टू गुटे पैनल डिसाइड करिवो पार्लियामेंट तो ता अनुसार से माने हेबे किंतु सुप्रीम कोर्ट सेटा उस तरह इलीगल बोली ये कर देला तो सर एई केस सर हमें कहा को सुप्रीम कोर्ट धपिया ना 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 एई केस रे पूरी तंकर पार्लियामेंट आफ्टर द दैट दिस क्लास इज ओवर द आई विल गिव द दैट गुंटी मिनट्स टू पुट ऑल दिस क्वेश्चन ठीक है सर एंड आई विल सॉल्व बिकॉज़ बिकॉज़ इट इज टू लेट सम स्टूडेंट्स आर क्रिएटिंग नॉइज एंड नॉट विजिबल सो मु खाली नॉट सेल ले कह दूची दैट अगेन दे आर आल्सो ट्राइंग टू दैट पास अ लॉ टू चेंज दिस डिसिप्लिन्स हम पुनी पार्लियामेंट रे पार्लियामेंट रे वर्तमान आसी वाले नि से जो ये ए जो अपन कोविड 19 पे रही छि स्पेशल सेशन विल बी टेकन अगेन जिमिति हेत लागि केशवानंद भारती केस रे एवं अन्य केस रे दैट पार्लियामेंट विल टेक द डिसीजन बिकॉज वी हैव एडॉप्टेड पार्लियामेंटरी सोवरेनिटी सो जुडिशियरी डिसीजन विल नॉट बट इट विल नॉट कंटिन्यू अगेन इट विल बी चेंज यू सी दैट सुप्रीम केस कोर्ट हैज गिवन डिसीजन दैट प्लानिंग कमिशन प्लानिंग कमिशन सुट कंटिन्यू इट वाज द ओपिनियन ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट बट व्हाट हैपेंड द नीति आयोग जस्ट दैट ये मॉडिफाइड दैट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन प्लानिंग कोर्ट भी टेकन सो दैट इज व्हाई द पार्लियामेंट इज द सुप्रीम सो अगेन देन सर हां सर नहीं सर ठीक कह ले बट सर देन व्हाट इज द meaning of that judiciary judiciary is free from uh, judiciary independent judiciary jodi sir mm. parliament taku change kari dela kali sakalu mm. aji bjp achi kali congress achi kali au kya asibo semane tanko anusare mm. panel basebe tanko panel le tanko law minister basebe au semane supreme court upare gote pressure debe to mm. so, are not they taking the independence so, so, of judiciary you see the so called the politicians Sir, matured political politicians, they are not tolerating to the judicial activism. Now they are also pointing out that uh, decision of the legislature, if you will not continue, then why should they will take decision? Because they are pointing out that the uh, in this uh, uh, people's sovereignty, the people are the final voice. Want Sir. to say so that is why. Amendment will be again that uh, uh, made right. this. Okay, 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 sir. Thank you, sir. We have adopted our forefathers. They have committed. So why not a presidential form of government? They have adopted parliamentary. And uh, right. in parliamentary, the one, this is not the one man decision. That is the the assembly for the representative people to represent. They are taking the decisions. Hello. रिलेटेड टू द डेमोक्रेसी एंड डेवलपमेंट what is their role that the bureaucracy police and army all these are the coercive apparatus of uh, the democracy this unit speaks about the role of the bureaucracy army police in democracy it underlines that these are coercive apparatus of the state my dear student the coercive and the welfare these are the two nature of that state coercive nature another welfare nature the coercive nature of uh, that state hmm, is necessary for law and order for discipline and uh, 
to sustain. These organs of the state also face challenges in the society. Different type of challenges. And it will solve by the some uh, problems are solved by the bureaucracy, some problems are solved by the police and also army. Different uh, nature of uh, that uh, activities are there. In the modern state, the modern state is uh, different from medieval state in terms of uh, making laws which can control the activities of the of these forces. Hmm. So it was uh, different from the modern. A state is basically a limited state except in an abnormal situation in a nation life, such as the emergency. Do some other emergency way. That is abnormal. We uh, that uh, needs the uh, coercive regime. The coercive regime. It is, I mean, Hobbes and Kotha Koriba, the Hobbes philosophy, absolute sovereignty, Kahiki Dorka. Eti, the Pilamana Upolopti Koribe, the state needs both coercive action and a welfare measures. Then coercive action is the Noroivo, Kaku, many, many law and order situation. See, we cannot hope for a civic life. So that is why coercive apparatus is needed for the democracy and its development. The emergency because because of war or internal trouble. So in this case, we need bureaucracy, we need police, and also we need army. Because the bureaucracy here will act as the staff, and the army, the police, uh, they will act as the line officers. They will supply, they will help, to the other two that the coercive apparatus of the government. The state laws to restrict the rights of a citizen at the time of a, at the emergency. You might have known the fundamental rights have been given to Indian citizen, but during the time of emergency, Article 19 of the Indian Constitution, which is important, that is for freedom, that will be restricted. In these circumstances, the police, civil servants, and the military have immense power. And, uh, and uh, I would say, particularly the uh, COVID-19 situation, during the time of uh, shutdown and lockdown, the coercive apparatus, hmm, they have uh, enjoying that, uh, that uh, exercising the immense power. So that power is not for intentional, that is to make an order or for the, to save the lives of the people. These three forces are part of an administrative state. They are a permanent part of the executive, whereas the political executive is a temporary one. These uh, that uh, coercive apparatus, the bureaucracy, the police, and the army, they are part and parcel of the state. They are permanent part of the executive. They continue up to 35 to 40 years in their service. Whereas the political executive is temporary, they, they will come as a representative for five years, and after five years, they may come or may not come. So the uh, bureaucrats, they have experienced, the police personnel, they are experienced. The army, they will continue at least uh, 15 to uh, that uh, 20 years in the service to render their service for the security of the nations. Although, where control for the executive, one problem hala. Hello? Hello? People are not visible. Hello? 
हेलो वेट साहब प्लीज कंटिन्यू सर दैट स्लाइड्स इज विजिबल और नॉट यस यस विजिबल ओके एंड सो ऑल्सो दे आर दीस थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट इंस्टीट्यूशंस ऑफ द कोरेटिव कोप दैट कोरेसिव अपरेटर्स दे आर कंट्रोल्ड बाय द पॉलिटिकल एग्जीक्यूटिव इट इज नो डाउट बट द एक्शन ऑफ ईच फोर्स can come under the scrutiny by the judiciary so that is important here the relation of uh, uh, here the relation of uh, each forces with judiciary and legislature is being analyzed in this unit kimbhali je semane legislature ebong judiciary soito pura link achanti the democracy of our development sector uh, they are also that uh, uh, the trainer is their services to help for the development again in the contemporary state system the state is the, that infested with the many problems hmm. like murder rape violation of laws agitation the police force is faced with a number of challenges it is for the nation by keeping relation with the legislature executive judiciary and public in a variety of situations police katha koiba police arrest kala arrest kala pare court ko pathauchi court is taking the trial and uh, giving final decisions similarly the uh, bureaucrats uh, the that police police is also related with the, the executive how so that the police has not the magistrate power if the magistrate will give order then the police will start that uh, any type of uh, action lathi charge ho आरंभ इंडिया Has a distinct role right from pre-British era till date. Ajo British pattern na ame upper jantar bhi madhya achha bhi. Jee British pattern na ta ame upper jantar bhi jaanu chunti. Hmm. Jee sita continue madhya hoychi. Now some changes have taken place in a different fields. The public administration or changes has to develop and. एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन आसी पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ले इकोलॉजिकल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन भी मध्य इनक्लूड है तेज दैट सिविल सर्विस इन इंडिया हैज़ हेज डिस्टिंक्ट रोल राइट फ्रॉम द थ्री ब्रिटिश सेना टिल डेट दे डिस्चार्जेस ए नंबर ऑफ फंक्शंस देयर वर्क कंसिस्ट ऑफ असिस्टिंग द पोलिटिकल एक्जीक्यूट इन पुलिस फॉर्मुलेसन प्रोग्राम इम्प्लीमेंटेसन and administration here i want to explain the relation between the political executive and the permanent executive or in other words we can say that minister and the secretary is the relationship my dear student you might have known that the political executive they are coming for 5 years they are not experienced they are amateur in the policy formulation programs implementation and uh, they have no administrative knowledge so the political executives they are backed and held by the civil servants the civil servants just behind the screen whatever things they will give the in the writings the political executives will follow the final 
that minister will put his signature after the drafting is made by the secretary thus they are contributing actively to the policy making process so far as the policy is concerned you see here the civil servant the the uh, uh, legislature is there to make law but there is a Uh, due to the lack of time because the parliament has become the far the legislative legislative process they are also uh, that uh, facing different types of uh, problems hmm kete vele kirtan helani ko uti juta phingra helani speaker unko mic bhangi leni so the legislators they are also uh, that uh, consuming the um, time of the legislature to take the decisions so in this case the delegated legislation that means the legislature has given they have delegated the power to the civil servants hmm, to take the decision so legislature will lay out the policy the final decision and execution or implementation will be taken by the civil servants so that is why the civil servants as a apparatus of the state contributing actively in the policy making process next so far as the military is concerned we have to see on the other hand military also plays a vital role to the protect the state from war and aggression they have control over the weapons and the military train personnel not only this much they are instrumental in formulating an effective defense policy these three coercive apparatus that the police civil servants and military have been playing an important role in strengthening the indian democracy for development to the extent military ko function ho raha different apparatus ko different type of that action police ko alaga civil servant ko alaga military ko bolte ho raha military in a different situation le war aggression bale and during the time of that disaster disaster like tsunami earthquake so the military is also that needed to help so all these three that uh, apparatus or the institutions hmm, they are part and parcel hmm, and also discharging their sincere duty and role in strengthening the indian democracy for development to the extent next we have to go for uh, unit 10 legal system and uh, judiciary legal system and judiciary sir hello hello uh, my dear students yes, sir uh, sir yes, 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 uh, no uh, uh, the other student uh, the other student uh, will take any break the students no, sir other other students are interested to take any break no sir no sir it's a continuous I'll, no sir there no break i will continue yes sir you can continue okay, those okay. who don't want to continue then they may leave okay okay okay, okay. okay. Any, otherwise i think hmm. sangram kamal please off your audio and video okay sir you can so, continue so so the time is too late Uh, the the time uh, that continuing the legal system and the judiciary is the unity ten and i want to say regarding the legal system and the judiciary in india and the, with the how it is related to the democracy and development in this unit this unit expresses regarding the legal system and the bureaucracy in india derives its strength from constitution of india 
ये जो लिगल सिस्टम बा जुडिशियल सिस्टम हमरो जो संविधान रु एटा उद्धृत हे छि जे संविधान जिभरी भाव रे हमरो जो आइनगत व्यवस्था बा न्याय संस्था सृष्टि करि छि अकॉर्डिंगली जे ताको भित्ति करके डेवलपमेंट ता होछि इट वर्क्स एज ए चेक ऑन द एग्जीक्यूटिव एंड लेजिस्लेचर द मेन मोटो ऑफ दिस लीगल सिस्टम एंड जुडिशियल दैट they will check over the uh, executive and legislature when both the institution will abuse the power assigned to them. The provision for the judiciary, judicial review and uh, the public interest litigation, PIL, hmm, accelerated the role of judiciary in the Promotion of democracy and development in India. Jodi said it is a great thing which is related to the public interest. Judicial review and also public interest litigation. Judicial review, pre, I want to clarify to my students. It is a extraordinary power of the Supreme Court, extraordinary jurisdiction. It means the judiciary will review the decision taken by the central legislature, parliament, or the state legislature. Suppose any law passed by the parliament or the state legislature, or any order passed by the executive of the union or the states, if it contradicts the provision of the constitution, then Supreme Court has been empowered to review it. And uh, after trial, after thorough observation, after review, if it is proved that that law passed by the parliament or the state legislature is uh, contradicting the provision of the constitution, then Supreme Court has the power to declare it null and void. So, uh, so that is why the judiciary here is just like a check. This check do chi, this jo prathibun dekho swasti koru chi jeto bolle outrightly decision parliament jeto bolle nu chi ba executive nu chi the judicial review achi bolli samane bhool karje koru na hanti. Sabuj fundamental right karo halo samjhi. Ba koru chhu kote particular state the chhati. Uh, article 356 state emergency president rule ragiwa katha nuhe jehetu central government ra majority achi intentionally seti ko dote arambha kale immediately the state government will that uh, uh, take the help of the uh, supreme court so they will file a, a case so in this case the supreme court will review it to whether it is justified or not similarly Public interest litigation also published and accelerated the role of the judiciary in the promotion of the democracy and development. How? Public interest litigation, for I summary, so when I look at my country, I mean, I care of the PIL Cordova. Joti Jonasat Sambolito Kothatibo. Samokro Jonathan Kapayuji Kothatibo. Sati. You play in Hale, so you want to do you would a particular community or put a development hoochie, do development society to put a ill impact of a coach. Monocora do regarding the opening of the liquor, opening up liquor shop during the pandemic COVID 19, the decision. So, PL was also filed not to open this. Similarly, the construction of a road, PMRI road, so hmm. the government by contractor, so many the nevale. Man, if I say, what a modern factory theory can be applied, Gotchoku cutting the edge, what a jungle can be done. So, 
एनवायरमेंट नष्ट होगा नष्ट लोकल पीपल मान लाइफ आफेक्ट कर सब तथ्य गुड़िक ये सब केस गुड़िक जन स्वार्थ सम्बलित तेनाली गोटे सिंगल मैन करोटी पब्लिक इंटरेस्ट थी से लिटिगेसन हो पब्लिक आफेक्टेड हो जगार हूँ कौन पीआईएल टा हो पार सो पीआईएल केस फाइल है द कोर्ट विल टेक द डिशन एंड इफ इट विल रंग देन कोर्ट विल दैट पोस्ट वन इट गिव अर्डर फर पोस्ट वन इट एगेन the parliamentary democracy was from the principle of a fusion of a power fusion of power means that interlink and in the making of laws there is a direct participation of the legislature and executive but it is the judiciary but it is the judiciary that remains independent and a strong safeguarding the interest of the citizen by not allowing the other organs to be in the constitution the constitution ko bahar jai ki je konosi karya karibe hm se katha kaha ko si sujog diye nahi hm that remains independent se drushti ruchi that uh, judiciary ko eti independent kara jai chi ame purbo topic re padile पार्लियामेंटरी सवरेंटी अच्छी किंतु पावर जो जो क्षेत्र में दिखाई सुप्रीम कोर्ट को से पर्यटन जनसाधारण स्वार्थ को रक्षा करवर दिया Go beyond the constitution, so that is why it is treated, hmm, or it acts as a check on the arbitrariness and unconstitutionality of legislature and the executive. Similarly, the judiciary is the final arbiter in interpreting the constitutional arrangement. संविधान क्षेत्र में जहाँ एरेन्जमेंट अच्छी जहाँ संविधान लिखित एवं सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ़ द जुडिशरी हैज बीन ऑथराइज द गार्डियन ऑफ़ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सो इन दिस रिगार्ड द जुडिशरी इज द फाइनल दैट इंटरप्रेटर द नेचर ऑफ़ द डेमोक्रेसी एंड द डेवलपमेंट डिपेंड्स मच ऑन हाउ द लीगल सिस्टम कंडक्टेड सेल्फ <coughs> to sustain the overall social economy and the political environment then you know, it is the judiciary the judicial system legal system ko sei prakar sujog dihai the our constitutional makers they are so that uh, clever and also experienced that they have uh, that authorizes to the judiciary and keep the judiciary that independent from the control of executive and the legislature because legislature and the executive they have that correlation hmm. so anyway the so far as the genesis is concerned it is legal system ro jo ame तार इतिवृत्ति कौन अच्छी जेनेसीस कौट से सृष्टि से संपर्क में डेभलपमेंट अफ द जुडिशरी सिस्टम क्या बी ट्रेस बैक टू द ग्रोथ अफ मडर्ण स्टेट एंड दिजम इन आनसी टाइम द कनसेप्ट अफ जुडिशरी वाज लिंक विथ द रिलीजन द Embedded, fixed. Embedded means fixed in the society as uh, that uh, socially stratified caste groups. That is ancient, pre-Christian, which was the way, which was the 
धारणा धर्म उपर प्रदर्शित थिला बिकॉज इट वाज टोटली कस्टमरी प्रथा परंपरा को नै कि सेटी न्याय बा जुडिशियरी सिस्टम कार्य करथला यदि जुडिशियरी विरोध करथला ताने कम्युनिटी एटी डिससटिस्फैक्शन हैले एजिटेशन आरंभ कले से माने न्याय चली परिबो नाही तनो जेतु हा धर्म उपर होची परदर्शित थला मोस्ट ऑफ द किंग्स कोर्ट्स डिस्पेंस्ड जस्टिस अकॉर्डिंग टू द धर्म धर्म दंड बुली कोहा जाय धर्म बुली कोहा जाय तनो सो एंशिएंट स्टेट दैट likely uh, the ancient state were customary laws as the ancient state laws ancient state laws were customary laws and any deviation from it from dharma was rejected by the community jodi ei pratha ko jodi no manile jodi sei onsar nyay no dia hala tan community se prakar nyay ko ba ai ko ba person ko mane forgo kale बताको रिजेक्ट कर देना इन मीडिया हाल टाइम्स इन मीडिया हाल टाइम्स दैट डिक्टर किंग डिक्टम किंग कैन डू नो रंग वाज अप्लाइड एंड द किंग दैट एरोगेटेड टू हिमसेल्फ एन इंपोर्टेंट रोल इन एडमिनिस्ट्रिंग जस्टिस he became the symbol of justice and so the highest judge in the kingdom it was gross arbitrariness and also authoritarianism it puts it he kahi ki ko hala na jetole mo asila medieval time re seti tikke parivartan hala the the king can do no wrong that means the kingdom that means the rajya ke me huchi bhul karan ke nahi prasangar jo artho huchi hala je jetabale media hala period re rajya ka hat re au khamata huchi roila nahi so king will act as the head of the state just like the symbol of the head of the state but everything will be uh, decided the decision will be decided by the the ministers and uh, officials like uh, in uh, uk hmm. the devil is under that uh, that uh, ministers that uh, uh, council of ministers samana sab decisional rajya kintu je desar pratik hisab re mukhya hisab re se kevalo khali signature karibe tanu jodi decision dele ministers council of ministers tanu king au bhul kari paribe ni only he is he or she raja ki marani they will put the signature on the papers then when the decision nahi paribe nahi then she kebe bhul karibe ni then she become the symbol of justice and so the highest judge in the kingdom it was gross arbitrariness e drushtiro hoti chalitla next the constitutional assembly for so the significance of judiciary is a guardian of rights and justice jetabare sambhidhanik byabastha kotha achila bharataro sambhidhan pranayan sabhare yar significance ku develop karahala je kon na adhikar ebong nyay judiciary adhikar ebong nyay ku surakshit deba pai de गाडियन हिसाब रे काम करिबो व्हाइल द सुप्रीम कोर्ट इज द हाईएस्ट कोर्ट ऑफ लॉ इन इंडिया हुज डिसीजन आर बाइंडिंग ऑन ऑल द हाई कोर्ट्स एंड द सबऑर्डिनेट कोर्ट्स एन्श्योरिंग जस्टिस एट द स्टेट डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल रेस्पेक्टिवली संविधान प्रणयन सभा रे डिसीजन हला हमर जो भारत रो जो जुडिशियल सिस्टम आमे करिबा हां आम जो व्यवस्था होता एमती हवा दरकार 
the court the will take the final decision the it will binding decision jo decision ta hochi it will binding for state high courts subordinate courts like district court subject court district level court sabu samaste mane ये कथा कर उद्देश्य हूँ डेमोक्रेसी एवं डेभलपमेंट रे कि जनरल पीपल सो दे दैट गेट द जस्टिस से माने दे विल नॉट बी डिप्राइव ऑफ द जस्टिस सो इन दिस केस ऑन द अदर हैंड जुडिशियल रिव्यू कथा मुझे कही सारी And public interest litigation, it will be, it will ensure that the rule of laws is maintained. This is judicial review of the public interest litigation, which are the two important role of that uh, judiciary. So it is based on rule of laws. I need a certain who is who to come here. By providing for a that dignity, dignified living. एंड राइटफुल कंसर्न फॉर ऑल पीपल एज वेल एज गवर्नमेंट सरकार एवं लोक उभय ठीक हम हेन्स जुडिशल सिस्टम हेज बीन ब्रडली इंट्राक्शन अफ द जुडिशरी विद इन ए ब्रड फ्रेमवर्क टू एचिव द गोल्स अफ डेभलपमेंट एंड डेमोक्रेसी तेणु यही दृष्टि जुडिशरी कि भाव में जो डेमोक्रेसी एवं डेभलपमेंट मुख्य भूमिका ग्रहण कर सो ह्विच कैन नट वि दैट एवोडेड फर डिस्कसन नेक्स्ट यूनिट इलेवेन दैट इज फेडरालीज सो यूनिट इलेवेन the federalism and uh, the federal uh, will see the federal structure the federal feature and uh, the uh, characterization characterize the character of indian federalism the salient features of indian federalism meaning and implication of the war union इंटरस्टेट कोऑर्डिनेशन, डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ कंपिटेंस वर्किंग ऑफ फेडरल सिस्टम डिसेंट्रलाइजेशन इनिशिएटिव टेकन बाय द यूनियन सो इन दिस यूनिट दिस यूनिट ट्रेस फ्रॉम द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ फेडरलिज्म फॉर नेशन एंड नेशन बिल्डिंग इन द इंडियन डेमोक्रेसी it explain the meaning of a federalism and the salient feature of indian federalism the constituent units of federalism are in conflict and cooperation with each other they do not have the right to secede hmm so to alaga hi parive nahi Hmm. The fact. So overall, the Indian federalism is tilted towards the center, hmm. despite the demands for recognition of Indian federalism in favor of the states. The Rashtra Manankara Dabi je amuko autonomy diya jao. Ye katha samvidhana pranana sabhara madhyo stiro hi thila. Hmm. But uh, the constitutional makers they decided to make India a strong federation, a strong central government for the safety, security of the nation. So far, they that uh, decided to make the federation a strong centralized pattern because the partition of Bengal. and the government of india act 1947 which divided india into two parts was uh, continuing 
in the minds of the constituents of the class. So they have a that the feelings are of fear that uh, the there is every chances of uh, disintegration or the any state will demand for the uh, Indian Union. Mm. So it will create the another that uh, shock to the Indian nation. So the Indian federalism mm, is a, so far as the uh, nature and the characteristics is a concern. It is a developed, not a fully federalism, rather a quasi-federal state. The federalism in India is a grand design of uh, living together in the matrix of arrangement of uh, self-rule plus shared rule. Here, my dear student, try to give your intention in this uh, particular that point. The federalism in India is a grand design of living together in the matrix of arrangement of self rule plus shared rule. Swayat sasana vitara roiva. Kintu ame shared sasana vitara roiva. The onsidar hava. If we echo nature, amro bharatio songe roiva staram vitra. Abongo jaro hallmark hoji. Mukhya chinno tilakon. Na unity of a polity. And the plurality of a society. That is the hallmark of Indian federalism is the unity of a polity and the plurality of a society. As a theory of a nation building, federalism seeks to define seeks to define state society relationships in such a manner as to allow autonomy of identity of social groups to flourish in constitutionally secured and mandated institutional and political status. However, the how, here the how Indian federalism has been that uh, made by the constitutional makers that has been inherited and uh, how the uh, that uh, units and also the union mm -hmm. uh, they will togetherly that uh, extend their works mm -hmm. how self rule and uh, sad rule will continue it was the decision but uh, as a state building theory Federalism has three essential components. Before I explain the three components, I want to that express the federalism, the main that features, the main elements of the federalism. That a federal state, that a federal, we can say the federal state, the state which have a written constitution, dual polity, that means the two types of government, polity means the government, the central government and state government, distribution of power through constitution and an independent, impartial judiciary. So, these are the Mm, that the federal that uh, elements but we have to see that uh, how India has fulfilled all these things and uh, why it is uh, that uh, characterizes uh, quasi federal now the three essential components are number one formulation of states and uh, Territorialization of a federal local administration as to promote close contact between people and government. Local among the Sorakaranka Madhere K 
किभली भाव में संपर्क आसव तेणु आंचलिक भित्ति लोकाल एडमिनिस्ट्रेसन को क्लोज करने कि भाव में गोटे प्रथम जो कंपोनेंट द्वित कंपोनेंट है डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन अफ फेडराल पावर्स अन् ए नन सेन्ट्रालाइज बेसीस् सेन्ट्रालाइज नई कि भाव सेकंड कंपोनेंट एवं थर्ड कंपोनेंट थिला जे क्रिएशन ऑफ द इंस्टीट्यूशंस ऑफ शेयर रूल इन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूट असेंबली दिस पर्टिकुलर नोशन वाज एडॉप्टेड बाय द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल मेकर्स सो फार एज द दैट कैरेक्टर ऑफ इंडियन फेडरलिज्म इज कंसर्न We have to see Indian federalism characterized as quasi-federal, a unitary state with subsidiary federal principles. It is true that Indian federalism has an inbuilt tendency to centralize under certain circumstances, which makes it quasi-federal. Here, I want to explain. So why it is that a quasi federal? Hmm. So far as the article one is concerned, India that is Bharat shall be union of states. The Indian federalism, what we see, it fulfil all the qualities of a federalism, like in written constitution, dual polity, distribution of power constitutionally. an independent imperial judiciary everything so so we have made our state a federal in form but the unitary in spirit how the maximum power and authority has been given to the central government and the less power has been given to the states so which can be ascertained from The that the legislative relation between central state that the 99 items which has been given to that uh, central government that uh, 61 items states and uh, the concurrent list that is 52 and apart from these residuary power has been given to the central government regarding the concurrent list you see that uh, the law the concurrent list means both the government have the power they can make the law but there is a constitutional provision if any that a contradict any conflict arises in between state and also the center the central law will prevail why so it symbolizes that uh, the centralized that the federalism so on the other hand you see financial resources in the matter you see the important uh, financial organization are coming under the central government similarly the executive relationship you see the central that uh, employee they will work hmm, in the states so final recruitment the decision will be taken by the center and they will come for to assist the state government so in this regard and apart from this the central government hmm, has the power to use the article 356 Hmm. Sometimes the overwhelmingly. Of course, after '96, so it is coming under the rescue of the Supreme Court, but uh, the Supreme Court has the uh, power hmm. regarding the uh, that uh, in case of any that war and aggression, the central government is the supreme. 
suppose the state government will undertake any financial decisions so the state will that uh, app appeal for the guarantee net regarding the uh, that uh, naturalized disaster that uh, the states they are also seeking help from the central government besides you see to curb the most in different states that uh, the state government will be uh, seek the paramilitary forces but the central government hmm, mainly that uh, delay because the paramilitary forces are coming under the the central government so this uh, state government will that uh, seek for uh, that uh, two helicopter or paramilitary force so they will provide hmm, in let so besides the governor is the central representative central government representative he can reserve the bill for the presidential that uh, decision so all these includes that we have adopted the federal structure what in reality it is the centralized pattern that unitary pattern so that is why it is quasi federal in nature the legislative and executive authority is the, that uh, partition between the states and the center by the indian constitution though india is a union of states no unit possesses the right to secede and are governed by a single constitution term india is a union of states for the article 1 says hmm eh how ji rajya manankar ek sammelana hmm tenu kon se ek jo swatantra adhikar diya jai paribani je alaga he pariba nahi hmm ke rajya tenu gotie constitution under the jaha decision seta ko mane pai banthi it is only under the abnormal situation tamne emergency samare that india federalism against the characteristic of a that uh, unitarian politics what we are realizing in this uh, situation of covid 19 throughout india and the decision of uh, the central government was uh, that uh, final hmm. that regarding uh, lockdown 1 2 3 4 and also the 5 hmm. and uh, as some that uh, power and authority has been given to the uh, states to take the uh, decision in the local level again there are two broad types of uh, centralization of uh, federal power that is circumstantial and consensual in order to protect the units of the federalist federation from external aggregation hmm then so, situational ko nahi ki paristhiti ko nahi ki dui prakar eti rajya ko ke bhare bhab se set kara jibo in order article 356 it is the president rule when the law and order situation in abnormal cases when the state is they not uh, operating the anti um, constitutionally so the article 356 will impose hmm, for uh, units hmm. that is the circumstantial condition but through the external aggregation or war so it will maintain that uh, the total union is one maintain that uh, the protect the integrity of the nation and attack the union out of financial crisis so in the two type of uh, that uh, federal powers next the federal power in india has been distributed between the states and the union on the basis of a territoriality and uh, the specialization of uh, subjects with matters of uh, local interests it is अंचल भित्ती 
क्षमता दि जाए कौटी पब्लिक डिजर्डर पुलिस एग्रिकलचर सानिटेसन फिशरीज सेलटेक्स सो बी पुट अंडर दि स्टेट लिस्ट ये गुड़ी कौन टेरीटोरियालीट आकार राज्य मान ये सब क्षमता दिए सीमिलरली दि सब्जेक्ट लाइक फरेन एफेयर्स डिफेन्स रेलवेज करेन्सी कलेक्टिंग द maximum revenue than the states for a long period we have to see for a long period federalism in india did exhibit a strong centralizing tendency encroaching upon the subjects originally assigned to the states enhancing its domain through various means jodio फेडरालीजम जो कन्स्टिट्यूंट एसेम्बली में आरंभ है आलोचना होता बैपास कर क्षेत्र में राष्ट्र जो विषय गुड़ी से एनकोर्स कर यूनियन टाइप फेडराल पलिट इज कनसीडर्ड एसेनसीआल फर इंडिया बट दि सरकारी कमिशन रेकमेडेड ट्रांसफरिंग अफ सम अफ द यूनियन Function to the state and evolving the transparent norms to implement some of the controversial federal provisions. Sarkaria Commission report, 1983. Re, jeta bolle bossila. Se report bolla. Je kichhi jo khamata, dia jo central government jo jo orda so use ko kuchhi kichhi khamata jo dia jo kaku state ko. Ebang jo controversial jo rochi. से कंट्रोवर्शियल जिनसा कंट्रोवर्शियल जो परिस्थिति परिस्थित उपजी बोली सो दैट दि स्टेट विल फिल समथिंग ऑटोनॉमी टू सेव देयर दैट दैट स्टेट्स अकॉर्डिंगली सो आफ्टर दैट ए लॉन्ग इयर्स इन 2019 As 2015, some changes has been taken place in the field of uh, federalism in India. That the sense of a cooperative federalism has been developed. Now, the Planning Commission has been reformed as the Nitiyaga, and the states are given chance to share their views in order to planning and the economic the matters. Finally, federalization in India is perceived as an instrument of a people's empowerment and as a means of nation building. It has it has been functioning successfully in building a federal India. Also, this political is a bit short-term issue, but still it is also maintaining. And uh, retaining its uh, that uh, glory. So, however, now we will start the last thoughts, in the last unity of today's counseling class, the unit twelve, and it is more that uh, most interesting topic, that devolution of a power and local self government. My dear student. in your uh, that uh, study material your uh, uh, books the book 3 it contains in the unit 12 that uh, devolution of uh, powers of uh, local self government hmm the swayat shasan sarkar ebong it is otherwise known as democratic decentralization and uh, some that uh, veterans uh, they have opined 
the grassroot of democracy hmm. so e boli bhabare si namito hoi chi hmm. and uh, the devolution of the powers and the local option of the government that uh, students suggest uh, they are uh, uh, feeling that it is a new topic no it is related to the panchayat raj system and its reformation in india panchayat raj system ke bhali bhabare aguru thila 1920 re ya hi thila british period re ebong ta pore pore ke bhali bhabare 1950 mase pore panchayat raj byabostha kon thila au reconstitution of panchayat raj system kon hi chi ebong decentralization ke bhali bhabare hi chi ebong constitutional amendments to 73 74 amendment how it has revamped the pri institution that has been narrated in this unit among in spite of this that uh, we should know the limitation of our amendments so i will that uh, speak in marcel the devolution of powers and local self government this unit of democracy and the development is about the devolution of a power and a local self government otherwise known as democratic decentralization in india it discusses the evolution of the modern institution of local self government their different performance in various states the 73 and 74 constitutional amendment of 1992 have that expanded the democratic scope of the local self government here in this unit speaks about what was the pri system the democratic decentralization but evolution of the power in local self government ki bole bhabre 1992 mase purbu thila ebong tabara kon development hi chi ebong jetebole 1992 mase re तेस्तरीतम संविधान संशोधन एवं चौस्तरीतम संविधान संशोधन हला व्हाट सॉर्ट ऑफ डेवलपमेंट हैज टेकन प्लेस इन एंड हाउ द रूरल पीपल दे हैव रियलाइज्ड द रियल डेमोक्रेसी थ्रू द पीआरआई इंस्टीट्यूशन सो दैट हैज बीन दैट डिस्प्लेड इन दिस यूनिट दिस एंड आई विल से and i will give you a passage on the revamping of the uh, pri institution under 73 and 74 because the past pri system was something defective the morantara mehta committee gave report hmm to rejuvenate hmm, this particular system and accordingly accordingly to as a past in the 73 and uh, 74 but uh, the two particular amendments 73 amendment is related to rural panchayats and the 74 amendment related to urban panchayat raj or urban local self government 73 is related to rural local self government so we might have known the three tier panchayat raj system hmm, that uh, evolved after this amendment and uh, after the commissions that the final report hmm. the 73 amendment in which rural pri institution got the maximum power the aim and objective of this amendment that how democracy will reach the door of the people how the people of the local they will take the initiative for their local development through this pri institution in the three tier 
which is that its system in the rural areas in the apex body is the jila parishad middle is the panchayat samiti and the lowest the gram panchayat in odisha panchayat raj system similarly in urban areas the pri institution revamp reform that uh, in uh, 1992 amendment and it was also effectively that implemented in 1993 that uh, in the urban local self government three tier system inputs in the apex body that is the corporation the middle that uh, body that is municipality and the lowest level notified area council so in this way the pri institutions get scope get the chances to the people to involve themselves in the democracy and the development hmm. of their own so through gram sabha and the police sabha a miracle changes hmm, was taken place when this particular pri panchayat the new panchayat raj system introduced in the rajasthan hmm, the agricultural development was taken place and the rural development hmm, agency created and the, the india hmm, that uh, that is one of the reasons hmm, for rural development so these two amendment have uh, not only revived the pri but also rejuvenated the landmark development in the evolution of a democratic decentralization and local self government in the country they have played an important role in the empowerment of the weaker sections of the, uh, weaker sections of seats for uh, them hmm. in spite of uh, reformation ये जो हला परिस्थिति आम जानूं विकर सेक्शन द डेवलपमेंट है पेशा एक्ट है डिफरेन्ट फैसिलिटी दिगला ट्राइबल एरिया डेभलपमेंट एकडिंगली है ये सब सत्वे इन स्पाइट अफ रिफर्मेसन मेड बै दिज एमेडमेंट दिज पीआर आई इन्यूशन पंचायत राज इन्यूशन आर स्टिल फेस विथ प्रोब्लेम दे आर पार्फरमांस ऑल ओवर दि कंट्री is not the same of so desa sara subare tumhe tathapi kiti karana jo gram sabha ko khamata diya gala ta ki bhuli bhabare je diya jibo kon karibo fully se gudi ko diya gala nahi bartaman ame dekhuchanti je chief minister jo pri institution ko bottom part ko gram panchayat ro sarpanch ko collector kar dele hm kintu ta nature of jo work सेटा को स्पेसिफिकेसन देले ना केमी कौन करेंगे जो विभिन्न जगार सरपंच को आक्रमण है कौटी गंडगोल है एक प्रकार है छड़ा स्टेट गवर्नमेंट रो रोचे डोमिनेसी रोचे किसी प्रोब्लेम फेस कर प्रोब्लेम को सर्ट आउट कर uh also that uh, helpful achieving the grassroots to democracy and development so however to develop this what is needed is the, that is strong political will of the state government and cooperation from the bureaucracy ya ko jodi thik bhabare kaam kara jibo tale jo राजनीतिक इच्छा शक्ति सब दरकार एवं जो ब्यूरोक्रेसी कोपरेसन दरकार डेमोक्रेसी डिसेंट्रलाइजेशन डिवल्यूशन ऑफ पावर जो दिया दि जाए लोक मान सेल्फ गवर्नमेंट ठीक भाव कार्यकारी हम इट विल हेल्प फर द डेमोक्रेसी डेवलपमेंट बिसाइड इट 
also nirse determination on the part of the people to make them a success kebal je sarkar rajnaitik icha shakti kemba bureaucracy etik no par people to uh, people to uh, it was people that uh, they need a determination on the part of the people to make them a success so the lok mane je ittakar icha shakti ebong je thik bhabare ansha grahan karibe hm tale e prakar prakriya safal hobo ebong ganatantra ro vikas dhara se boli niyamitata rahibo so thank you all my dear student and uh, in this session uh any if any doubt or any question you may get ask hello hello yes sir sir ila mane kichhi question na baki thank so so many many thanks that the the particular the students they have that uh, understood the situation and they cooperated me a lot so now so any question from the students sir can you give some time for question sir which language you are using is english please send link can be हेलो हेलो सर पिला माने किछ क्वेश्चन पचारिबे मो सेते जस्ट आई एम वेटिंग यस सर खाली लिखाई छि सर प्लीज सेंड द लिंक सर देखा होनी विजिबल हो नहीं स्लाइड इज नॉट विजिबल हम क्वेश्चन काहे प्लीज लिसन केयरफुल अच्छा हम कहले सुन प्लीज डू नॉट क्लिक द अच्छा पिला माने सर के अछन दिख लाइन ले केनी एनी क्वेश्चन और हेलो सर हां हेलो सर व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ क्वासी फेडरल और थर को डाउडियर को ना इंग्लिश रखे इट इज हेलो सर ओडिया हां अर्ध संख्या माने अधा फेडरल अधा हो छी यूनिटरी जो ये ओइकी को तेणु आम सीना सब प्रकार जो संघीय व्यवस्था को ग्रहण कर लिखित संविधान अच्छी दुई प्रकार सरकार केन्द्र सरकार राज्य सरकार अच्छा संविधान अनुसार क्षमता बंटन कर गोटे स्वाधीन निरपेक्ष न्याय व्यवस्था मध्य ये सब हूँ फेडराल जो फिचर तार एलिमेंट ये सब को आम ग्रहण कर प्राक्ट बास्तव में आम कौन देखुं कहीं अर्ध संघ राष्ट्र आम कौन ना सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट हूँ अधिक क्षमता जो ग्रहण कर राज्य सरकार को बहुत कम दि जा कम्प्लीट अटोनोमी हूँ जमी आमेरिक जो तार यूनिट गुड़ाक अच्छी से कौन ना कम्प्लीट फ्रीडम दि जा आमर गोटे संविधान राज्यपाल संविधान एवं फेडराल स्टेट संविधान अलग अलग तेनालीट ट्रु से फेडरालीजम हूँ कम कर फेडराल अधा कौन यूनिटरी ऐकिक अधा संघीय अधा हूँ ऐकिक ये दृष्टि कारण अनेक क्षेत्र में राज्य सरकार कौन कर ना केंद्र उपरे निर्भर कर हेलो हेलो सर ब्यूरोक्रेसी कौन ब्यूरोक्रेसी जानी ना ये ब्यूरोक्रेसी ये अमला तंत्र जो ये जो आम जो सिविल सर्वेंट सब आम कम कर ब्यूरोक्रेसी तो बुझेली सीटा को सिविल सर्वेंट जो मैंने अच्छा जो मुख्यमंत्री को मुख्यमंत्री जो स्पीच दौरान पाखर किए जन बस देखा पांडियान 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 सर बस आईएस सेक्रेटरी से मैंने 
सिविल सर्वेंट ब्यूरोक्रेट अमलातंत्र डिशन लेजिस्लेचर जहा हम से ब्यूरोक्रेसीटा एक्जिक्यूटि सहित लिंक दे आर एक्जिक्यूटि से एक्जिक्यूटिव हेड हेल्ले मिनिस्टर किंतु एम होती एसोसीएट जो आईन टा प्रणयन है कार्यकारी करते तेनाउट ब्यूरोक्रेसी आमर किसी इम्प्लीमेंटेसन हो पार ना से इट इज ए पार्ट एंड पर्सनल अफ दि स्टेट एंड डेभलपमेंट हाँ टेक्स्ट हेलो एनी क्वेश्चन कैन यू कैन यू से अगेन व्हाट इज पोवर्टी एंड पोवर्टी लाइन हाँ पोवर्टी इज ए कंडीशन इन व्हिच ए पर्सन और कम्युनिटी लैक्स द फाइनेंशियल रिसोर्सेस एंड एसेंशियल फॉर ए मिनिमम स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ लिविंग गोटे सर्वनिम्न बचाई जो जो रिसोर्स दरकार फाइनेंशियल रिसोर्स आवश्यक ताद कम थाए आम कही भाई पोभार्टी जे पोभार्टी डज नट मीन ओनली दैट इनकम गोटे फाइनेंशियल जे पोभार्टी दारिद्रतार अन्न सब दिग सब अच्छे जड़े सेफ मदरहुड ना गोटे पिलाटे पढ़ी पार ना गोटे स्वास्थ्य सेवा ठीक ना गाँ को रास्ता ना ये भी मध्य दारिद्रता भितर आस भारत बर्ष ये सब गुड़िक दारिद्रता हूँ को आम सुजोग सृष्टि करवा आम कह आम मस पोभार्टी ना पोभार्टी एलिमेसन करदे दारिद्र दूरीकरण करदे दारिद्र मानने केवल खाली ये फाइनेसी सेक्टर किंतु यहाँ हूँ जो पोभार्टी जो बेसिक पर्सनल नीड आम रहा कौन ना फूड क्लदिंग एंड सेल्टर जो मिनिमम जी से डिग्निटर सहित तो जो बचे से उणा हुए तेज पोभार्टी आम कह पोभार्टी लाइन है कौन दारिद्र सीमारेखा जो पोभार्टी लाइन पोभार्टी लाइन इज द लेवल अफ इनकम टू मिट द मिनिमम लिविंग कंडीशन गोटे बचाई जोटा सर्वनिम्न आवश्यकता जो अवस्था दरकार ताठी कम है तो आम कह कौन जो पोवर्टी लाइन पोवर्टी लाइन इज द एमाउंट ऑफ मनी नीडेड फॉर ए पर्सन टू मीट दिस बेसिक नीड्स इट इज डिफाइंड एज द मनी भैल्यू ऑफ द गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज नीडेड टू प्रोवाइड बेसिक वेलफेयर टू एन इंडिविजुआल गोटे लोकर सर्वनिम्न मंगल हाँपी जो जो फाइनेंशियल इंडेक्स दरकार ताठ जी कम था पोवर्टी लाइन बोली कह इन इंडिया प्लान जो प्लानिंग कमिशन कौन कही इट इज द लेवल ऑफ इनकम नीडेड टू मीट दि दट मिनिमम स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ लिविंग पीपल हु हैव एन इनकम लेस देन दिस कंसीडर ए बिलो पोवर्टी सर्वनिम्न जो आवश्यकता जहाँ सर्वनिम्न आवश्यकता कम थे सर्वनिम्न जो फाइनेंशियल कैपेबिल कम थे हम कह पहुंचला ओके हेलो सर एवं उभर करवा हेलो सर एवं स्टॉप करवा यस सर इफ देयर इज नो मोर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द स्टूडेंट्स ओके ओके आई नीड योर दैट फीडबैक सर ओके सर थैंक यू वेरी मच यू हैव टेकन ए वेरी गुड सेशन एंड विथ योर वन फुट नोट्स यू हैव मेनी करेक्ट लर्नर्स सो थैंक यू सर वेरी मच यू दिन दिस बिजी शेड्यूल यू हैव टेकन ए वेरी गुड क्लास तुमरे एंड थैंक यू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स तुमरो जे बिजी शेड्यूल For me. Yes, tomorrow is a busy schedule. I will be also that is a festival of uh, Raja. So uh, this kind of all this you all have joined. So uh, thank you all for this nice. So th session. thank you all my students. Those who have 
joined in this counseling session and uh, i need your uh, sincere cooperation for next counseling class thank you all sir thank you thank you, thank you all and wish you happy rose also thank you